Have you seen this landowning witch comparing public use of the creek she owns to literal rape? Yeah, I I saw. I didn't cover it, uh, but it's pretty funny. This witch lady bought, you know, a, a land next to a public creek and is now trying to cut off access to the public creek. Not only is the government trying to take land that I bought fair and square, but they're trying to force me to share it with the public. Paying taxes doesn't mean that they have to acknowledge that the land is privately owned. We're going to talk all about litigation and why I'm currently being sued by all three of my county commissioners. Unbeknownst to me, my backyard has been used by the public for about 35 years. You really like it that way. So when I came in and started swinging around my private property rights, that didn't go too well. The public started complaining, rumors of harassment emerged, even harassment against kids like, come on, Karen. Wait, come on, Karen? You're the one who's being a Karen. Bro, people just say things nowadays. It's like, what, what do you mean? You're literally you're literally trying to enforce private property rights over a, a creek that everybody wants to use. Like, what the f***? Dying at this song as I sit in nature's calming church and listen to the slow babble of Bear Creek. I reflect on the advertised words, Bear Creek running through your backyard. And think of the number of times my home in this land was sold to others before me. I wonder why something so beautiful was always sold in the winter. And why Jefferson County never tried to claim it until now. I remember the big dreams I had as a little girl growing up in middle class America. Yeah, the American dream is like taking over, uh, you know, public areas that other people are utilizing and just like stopping them from utilizing that enclosures, you know? Oh, for the record. Someone was saying, oh, she's wearing like native jewelry. The irony of her talking about stolen land and enclosures as she's wearing native jewelry. You bet your fucking ass. I will give you, I will bet a hundred dollars that she claims that she has uh, native ancestry and she got a 23 and me done. And it was like 3% uh, something indigenous. I climbed my way up from the very bottom of a large corporation and worked two jobs so I could afford community college before transferring to university. It took me a long time to graduate college and pay off my loans, but I eventually did both. I bought this land and land. I bought this house and land all on my own. It's my greatest pride. The sacrifices I made along the way feel minor compared to the sacrifices I'm having to make now. Wait, what? But I am determined to fight for the right to hold on to my dream. Because in a world where people think they can just take what they want, fighting back is so much more than saying no. Thank you for fighting beside me. Who the fuck is fighting beside her? Oh, also, apparently it turns out her property fucking ends at the at the creek not you know uh own the creek for 35 years of public access bear creek in kitridge through a plot of land next to a community park a woman cut off the creek access claiming the land is hers a peaceful community comes to mind when visiting the quaint mountain town of kitridge my next door neighbor quite literally brought me a pie Racist. a busy park especially during canyon fest a bubbling creek and friendly people like Jimmy Dixon. It's that type of community that people really look out for each other and neighbors are really close. Well, for anyone who's ever bought a house, you know that you know when you know. For a time, new neighbor Terrilyn Romero was yeah, welcomed. Awesome. Last year, she bought her dream home with a backyard through. creek right next to the town's beloved park. Yeah, yo, this chick thinks she's Nestle, bro. You can't do that. You know, that is above your pay grade. You can't be fucking shutting off access to, to, to fresh water unless you're Nestle. To most members in this community, this park is the heart of Kittredge. For 35 years, people had access to the creek. But Romero <laughs> sent this, this creek all the time. I'm going to moon her. She says prove the creek. Lol, healthcare industry. She works at Evernorth, a subsidiary of Cigna. Terrilyn Romero isn't a developer. She isn't some rich outsider. She's a native Coloradan who works in the healthcare industry. Oh, yeah, she works at Cigna. Nice. Cigna my nuts. You know what I mean? When she bought the disputed property in 2021, she said she just wanted a nice place to live, enjoy nature, and build a new life. Uh, she ended up at Kit Ridge in a way that is almost cliche. She got tired of living in a big city during the pandemic. Following a divorce, Romero had been living in a high-rise apartment in Denver. There, she met Imer. And when COVID hit, the couple decided they wanted more space. They rented a house about 30 minutes outside the city. And when their lease came up early 2021, they decided to stay in the area. She had a GoFundMe that raised almost 14 k Every day, we are getting closer and closer to eternal damnation. I am literally, I'm no, I'm no evangelical, but like, we are in hell, okay? I think we're, we're, we're literally just living in a cycle of, of hellish existence. Oh my fucking Lord. People are too stupid, dude. People are so fucking stupid. Stop.
This is like landlord tipping. Yes, this is the, this is like the, the same, if not worse. What type of response did you experience from the community? An aggressive one. Cannot wait to see you. Suddenly, Romero cut off Creek access. That prompted threats and made her feel like the most hated neighbor, she says. I feel Oh, she's crying. I realized that my land meant a lot to the community and to my neighbors. I tried really, really hard uh, to compromise and to share and to be reasonable. Jefferson County filed a lawsuit against Romero seeking adverse possession of the land. The county hopes a judge will declare the creek access area part of the park, citing the fact it's been used by the public for 35 years. Romero is fighting the lawsuit as neighbors pick sides. I think it's too far at this point to try to, to rebuild a lot of the animosity between neighbors around it. Some of my neighbors that I, I really respected, I've seen a new side to them, and it, it's just been frustrating to watch. I knew you guys were fabulous, but you're also a freaking force. Romero has... I hate that. You love to be creative and your attorneys need to know how and be willing to protect you. Bad mama grandma. Oh God, I hate this world. No, fuck this world, dude. Fuck this. Fuck this world. Fuck this existence. Oh my fucking Lord. This is absolutely unimaginably insane, dude. They're trying to extend their fucking private property to an area that they do not own. Oh my Lord. What the fuck? Why does she have defenders? Why are there people who are like, yeah, hell yeah. Keep fighting the good fight, sister. What is happening? This kind of shit is infinitely more doom pilling for me in particular than than other stuff when someone is like objectively a fucking asshole and has just nefarious vibes you know what i mean like like just absolutely awful fucking vibes that they're putting out there on a regular basis and yet they still end up gaining prominence and and gaining a cult-like uh you know movement behind them to continue being a fucking asshole it blows my mind i don't understand no way did she not realize it was a popular beach. The community has been trucking in sand to make the play area. There are clear trails from the park to the creek. I used to bring my kid there about 10 years ago. It's very common to have property like that. We had rows on our property. It's just the way the development occurred. People do that a surprising amount. Like they'll cut their neighbor's piece of grass for 10 years and claim it's theirs or build a fence uh, a foot over the known property line and claim the land happens a lot. Normally courts interest strike it down because it's obviously nefarious. TikTok is full of property dispute videos. It just makes me so sad. Like, this is like a low-level villain shit. You know what I mean? You're basically a low-level villain. At, at the, at, you know, you're, you're shutting off access uh, from children uh, that, that want to go to a fucking creek and, like, experience a little bit of public land. Like, I, I, I don't get it. I, I don't understand how uh, people don't immediately go, that's really fucked up. Like, how do you empathize with that person and not with, like, the other people that just want to go to the creek with their kids and experience nature? I don't get that. I don't even fucking like nature. You know what I mean? I don't even like nature. I hate being out in nature. And even I get that as a concept. Yeah, no shot. I'm believing this. This is John Oliver type satire, satire fake tears on command, especially how somebody gives me such Israeli settler victim vibes. I mean, <laughs> there is a there is a, 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 a analogy there for sure. But because the other people just hear people want to take my land. That's it. It's American as fuck. I just don't understand. I see both sides. I see that this park was was made intended to have creek access. Water access is really important for community. Dude, like it's monstrous, man. Straight up. Anyone that fucking shuts off, like, uh, any part of, like, uh, a, a natural resource from a public park because they claim ownership over it is a demon, straight up. I love public parks. I'll tell you what, as someone who frequently visits the wonderful public parks here in Los Angeles, I'm a major fan. You've heard me talk about this. I think it is profoundly important to have public parks. I think, uh, you know, it, it's really great for community building. It's awesome. I, I don't know. It's just like so deeply frustrating. Public parks are nature. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm just saying like I'm a big parks and rec sucker. Okay. It's awesome. It's also fucking free 99. You know what I mean? It's like, it's, it's great. They talked, they bought the Creek fair and square and it's so frustrating because it's a bold face lie. I don't think you can buy the Creek, even in a fucking libertarian, even in a libertarian paradise, like Colorado. I don't think you can just like straight up purchase a Creek, man. I, I don't think that's how that works. Like it's a, it's a wa It's a body of water. Like, what do you mean? Wars have been fought over the concept that you're mentioning between nations when they build dams on it, like Turkey and Syria are in 
a constant state of conflict due to uh, the the uh, two major rivers that flow through Turkey and flow into Syria inevitably. It's considered the waters of the state. If a waterway flows on more than one property, it's public. I mean, isn't this like a major point of contention on TikTok? Don't people get like really scared that people are buying and shutting off access to water everywhere? I thought that's what they were worried about. Like, uh, like what? Is it only when Bill Gates does it that do you have an issue with it? But when it's like some fucking witch talk lady, then you're like, oh, no, it's it's a yes queen moment. Like, is that what it is? is? Turns out the river changed shape since 1920, but they never updated the land rights uh, uh, map. Okay. I mean, let's be real. She bought the property and she literally was like, now I know why they sell the property in uh, the winter. Take it up with who you bought it from, asshole. You already knew. You're like, oh, well, I was sold this property under false pretenses because I didn't know that there was so much public fucking traffic happening in my backyard. Okay, well, that's your fucking fault, dumbass. Go deal with whoever the fuck sold you this while claiming that you own the, the entire fucking landline. You don't get to fuck over so many people because you got fucked over like you don't that's not how that works like you can't make it the entire fucking town's problem that you didn't do your due diligence you know what i mean she openly admits it too well i guess you can do that in the united states of america because this is a hyper individualistic shithole where uh you know you can gain momentum and support over some of the most like perverted uh, some of the most perverted in in uh, i would say demonic activity like this not let this go you know i think there's a there's a million reasons why i should not just let this go i am fighting for the right to be able to say no for on your private land when you want to say no and i think that that's really important as an american and as a woman as a woman it's so manipulative it's so fucking gross as a woman uh, she's like trying to go with the government overreach narrative when you as a woman, okay, got fucking owned and you paid extra dollars without doing your fucking due diligence on uh, uh, land that you didn't fucking own. That's so stupid. Utilize the court system to your advantage, not by trying to enforce enclosures on public land, further enclosures on public land, but instead to go back to the person who sold you the shitty thing and, and try to get money out of them. But instead, she's doing the dumbest thing ever where she's claiming that it's rape that like little children get to utilize the creek that they've used for 30 fucking years. I, I don't know, man. I, I, I just, it's so fucked up. Who would want to have a private creek full of rope, signs and cameras? How is that appealing? She just wants it for herself. Like she thinks it's like her own backyard pool. You know what I mean? It's so dumb. Romero says, hey, it doesn't matter if the creek has moved. My plot, my surveys, my map shows my plot extends all the way up to the edge of that park, and that's my land. This is a tough one because you can see both sides to this, right? But I have a question. So if... No, you can't see both sides to this, man. What is happening? Yo, local news is like they, they even smell a little bit of money. They're like, we have to literally defend you. Like, is that what's going on here? Where they just like, even if you, even if you smell a little bit of capital ownership, you're like, oh man, I'm going to do everything I fucking can. If the judge decides that this should belong to the public, that's going to possibly not sit well with a lot of people who side with Romero. Yeah, fuck those people. Those people are going to suck my dick. I, dude, 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 fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. You should take it up with the person who sold you this. Eminent domain it. And then, you know, give her opportunity for legal recourse, not against the government or not against like ownership over the stake ownership over the fucking uh, creek, obviously. But against the person who sold them a property that is actually much smaller. It's nice to meet you. I just got property in the area. Mm-hmm. Welcome. Welcome. You look new here. Yeah, so like I said, I just bought property. I just moved in. Excuse me, you, you bought property? No. No. No, you didn't buy that. You didn't buy that. I've been using that property for years with my grandkids. You didn't buy that. I did. I did. I even have the deed and, and the land survey, so it's mine. I'm paying taxes. Oh, uh-huh. It's, it's yours. You think it's yours. <gasps> you are stealing it. You are stealing it. You are a thief. I like that she is literally the person that she is, like, claiming that she's against. But because she's saying, no, 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 you don't understand. I'm doing private property, so, like, it's my, uh, you know, the, the other people are the actual Karens. Everyone's like, yeah, you're... I guess her supporters think that uh, she's not the Karen in this particular situation. It's very weird. 
You look Mexican too. You, know, you look it's Mexican ours. too? It belongs. Wait, what? No, she doesn't. What the fuck? Like, or what is what does look Mexican mean? There's like white Mexicans. What the fuck does that mean? Okay, she didn't say she was a uh, uh, native here, by the way. Oh, check the tags. Native Amer hashtag Native American. Like what? Fucking locked it. She's a part of the Navajo tribe, bro. You are just racist. She just wants her reparations, Lamau. Shut the fuck up, dude. Yeah, Native Americans famous st famously stalwarts of private property rights. Yeah, literally. Native Americans are are uh, famously anti, uh, you know, mass utilization of like uh, natural resources such as water. Like the only time Native American or indigenous people actually fight back is when like an oil company is like, we're going to build a fucking pipeline on top of your water and it's going to leak into your water and there's not really anything you can do about it. Suck my dick. That's the only time when Native Americans are like, actually, no, that's pretty fucked up. You shouldn't do that. So that everyone can literally use it. Yes, a Native American woman claiming she has the most rights to the land because she paid money for it, even though the people that already live there and enjoy the land freely. Yeah. And when she saw people coming onto the land and seeing the debris and the trash, she felt like, hey, this is my land here. And she says, you know, what? I'm paying taxes on this land. Well, and if somebody yeah. accidentally lights a fire on your land, yes. to her point, is she liable for that? Yeah. I mean, here's a great idea. Uh, fucking revoke ownership of the land you do not own. So it's like covered under, uh, you know, covered under the public park. That's great. There you go. Problem solved into oblivion. You know what I mean? I, I don't really understand. You shouldn't have ownership over that regardless. So there you go. I'm proud of how far we come as a country that even Native Americans can be awful capitalists. First of all, yes, indigenous uh, populations, uh, indigenous tribes can be awful capitalists. And are sometimes, especially tribe leaders, when, uh, when when push comes to shove, there's always like one group that you can always fucking rely on to be like, no, actually, we love the oil pipeline. You'll go to one tribe and 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 grease them a little bit, and then they'll say, actually, there's always one tribe that will say, no, we love the pipeline. It's going to create a lot of jobs for us. That doesn't mean anything. Everyone can be a fucking rugged capitalist. This person is not. This person is is not a fucking uh, you know. A, Native American. This person's not an indigenous person at all. Anyway, I, I also don't like the the mythologizing of like uh, indigenous populations in that in that regard. Like we make it seem like there's like this thing. They were seeking to take my land or give the public access to it in three different ways. Number one, adverse possession. They're basically claiming squatters' rights. Number two, possession by accretion which basically means they're making the argument that the creek moved over time, and because it moved, the property line changed, and now my land is their land. And number three, the most of them all. He says it's creepy. Prescriptive easement. Under prescriptive easement, I continue to own the land and pay taxes for it, but I have to share it with the public. Give it to the public parks. Give it to the government. Give it to the government. You no longer have to pay taxes for it. Except you don't want to do that because you bought it at a high markup thinking that you own that fucking land. And when you want to sell it in the future, you don't want to sell a smaller piece of the fucking land because you automatically eat like, I don't know, at least a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of land. So that's the real problem here. That's the real issue here. Let's be fucking real. The real issue here is that she got fucked over by whoever the previous owner was who made her carry the bag made her hold the bag, and she doesn't want to be the bag holder. <laughs> Feministly, taxation is rape. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, uh, Minion Death Cult uh, uh, did a really good analysis on this, so shouts out to them. Good job. Dude, I'm not even scared. It's an action game. It's an action game. People are dumb. Oh, God, he looks so scary. Ah! Ah! How do I run away? I'm doing a uh, civil asset forfeiture here. Oh! oh where am I my head? Where am I at? Where am I at? Where am I at? 